So hip hop is getting ready to turn 50 years old, man. What are your thoughts and take? How do you feel about that? Well, me being 51 myself, um, you never know how long you're going to be in this. You never knew how long hip hop was going to last. And it has outlasted a lot of music that's not as popular anymore. When you don't have CD 101 station no more, you know something <laughs> got to get, something got to get. So that means hip hop is everywhere. You know what I'm saying? Like, so, you know, I like that uh, people have adjusted and, and also learned that in hip hop, there are different divisions of it, whether if it's, uh, you know, made up, whether if it's, whether if it's trap conscious hip hop, I don't like that it's all different, these different divisions, but whether if it's, whack whether if it's good you see how big it has become it's become a market for yourself where it's not even controlled by the labels no more you can be free to be who you want to be but i always say the same thing that will apply is to promote your music you know invest in yourself as an artist this is what hip-hop has given us 50 years later it has given you an option if you still want to work with the labels work with the labels because everybody need a home you know, to do this by yourself is very hard. You know, to do this on your own, it takes a lot of money. It takes a lot of patience, a lot of discouragement for, for a lot of younger guys that may not understand. There's still things that you can do groundwork-wise to get the bang for your buck. It's just you got to think like that time frame and understand that everything you do represents your brand. And when you fuck that up, it, that brand goes down. So I maintain has maintained the brand of music, maintain the brand of standards in our music, you know, and, and and even as individuals to still be in it, you know, you have to thank hip hop for that. Cause we wouldn't be able to be who we are, as I will say, a lot of artists, we are all superheroes that put on capes and go on stage and go in the studio and go in the booth. It's just that when that's over, a lot of artists gotta understand when to take the cape off. Cause you're not gonna be a superhero all the time. Spider Man is Peter Parker sometimes. <laughs> right. So you can't be a superhero with your costume on running the streets all the time. So you know it's it's easier to look at yourself as an individual who trying to do the same thing a lot of artists may be doing. Never look at yourself to say I'm not doing as much as the next dude doing. Keep your blinders on. You gotta be like that horse that's only seeing straight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you will not, if you look at what everybody else is doing, you look, look, you be distracted. Your music gonna sound like this. Put that shit on. Put your earmuffs on, and just go forward. Right. Very dope, man. Listen, so here at Changing of the Hip Hop Guards, sincere and myself, we like to represent that true hip hop feeling. Mm -hmm. We would like to say thank you to you and the artifacts for always providing right. that dope soundtrack, providing that hip hop true feeling for us and fans around the world. Thank you for joining us, man. It's been a pleasure. Absolutely. Thank you, all, man. Thank you, all. Salute to y'all, man. And keep doing this. People need to see stuff like this, and it needs to be online and broadcasted to the fullest. You know, this is where we get to show our resumes, and without y'all, we wouldn't be able to spread the word. So, changing yeah. of the hip hop guards, y'all are the guards. Let's make it happen, y'all. Peace. Thank, <laughs> Thank you very you so much. much. All right. <laughs> Peace. All right. Peace.